Hey y'all, welcome to another video. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Happy Friday, and I hope everyone's doing well. I'm here with another Share More Projects with Friends. I will try to get the winner for the last project kit out by the weekend. This one is going to be an A2 pop-up flower pot card. It's from my Cameo Silhouette, and the design ID number is 88937. I will link what I can down below. This is what the card looks like. I really love how it turned out. I did some embossing on some plastic and I'll share all the supplies that I used. These are some centers from Stampin' Up! and the little flowers that came with the file. I embossed those. I used a 110 pound craft card stock from that Cricut paper that I used and this is the pop-up inside. I did add a piece of paper there behind that to give it a little more something so it'll be a different color. And then that's the little pop-up flower pot on the inside. I will give you all the supplies to create this project. Um, and I already embossed that piece. I do have the kit already available and I'll leave the giveaway open for at least a month. You do have to be a subscriber, leave a comment and like this video. So for my project, the embossing powder that I use is a detail embossing gold recollections powder. And then I use this clear stamp pad and this is from Ranger Ink. The flower centers are something I got from Stampin' Up! They're perennial essence floral centers and my Stampin' Up! demonstrator is Laquita Jackson. I'll link her channel down below. The embossing folder is from Joann's and it's one of the Park Lane embossing folders with the little Swiss dots on it. The uh, embossing paper that I use, I think I got this from scrapbook.com. I'll find it and link it below. But it's the Judykins Embossable Window Plastic. It's uh, four, and a, four and a quarter by five and a half, and it's 20 sheets in here. And that's my first attempt at embossing. I did three separate pieces. That's the first one. So it didn't turn out perfect. You know, the first time I did it, I just kept trying. The paper that I use for the flower pot to give it that kind of wood grain look is this paper right here. This is a Webster's Pages, The Good Life. I got this from scrapbook.com. That's an eight by eight. And then the stamp on the clear window is the Crafter's Companion Happy Birthday Wishes. One of those larger stamps. And my friend Tanya at I Dream by Tanya on Instagram sent me that because I couldn't find it. The paper that's on the front of the card is this Pick Me Up by Pink Paisley and that's Paige Evans. So again this is how the card looks and now I'll share with you how to put the card together. Again all of the pieces to include the um, embossing piece is included in the kit that I'll be giving away in the Share More Projects with Friends. So here is the base of the card again with the craft 110 pound cardstock. I'll just fold on the lines. And then here is the insert. I did already cut the piece to go behind the happy birthday. And I did include that in the kit as well. I'm going to glue that behind there first. And the glue that I use is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. I get this from scrapbook.com. So this paper has a textured side and then a plain side. I'm going to use the textured side up. And all I did was just put glue along the edges. If I can get my glue, oh, okay, there it goes. I'll just place that on there like that. And then to fold this to get the little pop out card the way I do it, as I just fold this in half, and then I just push the little pop-up piece up. And then you wanna put glue on everything except that piece. Again, I'm gonna use wet glue, make sure everything stays down. Make sure you have it the way you want it. I don't have anything on this, so I'm just going to put it in there, making sure that the sides are as even as I can get them. And then just close it up and press down. There you go. And then for the flower pot, the way I did mine, I've already put my little centers on the flower pot. And these are the little flowers that I put on the front of my card. 
So that'll be the front. Here's my embossing piece. And I didn't do anything fancy. I just cut around the words. I just like how that looked and added some glue. And these are the pieces that are on the flower pot. So I did this on the back. And then I just placed this piece right here. I did also include this piece right here. It's 110 pound. If you wanted to pop this piece up a little bit, I have that as well as the piece that matches the pot. And then there's one, two, three, four flowers where my centers are already glued in and I've already embossed them as well. So I'm just gonna put this together again with liquid glue. So I'll put this piece down first. I thought about inking around the edges or doing something extra, but I didn't do that. Just match it up with this piece. And then like I said, if you wanted to pop this up, I put a little sturdier piece in there that you could. I'm just gonna lay mine flat. And then I just kind of placed the flowers around the pot. Started off with this one that I cut out of the pattern paper. Leaving some green leaves behind. Placing it kind of over the pot. And then this last one. Mm, we'll go here. Maybe move this one up a little if I can get it off. Nope, I'll leave it alone. I don't want to break it. And then I put glue on this little tab and just put the pot on there. You want to kind of watch how you place it so that none of your green sticks out the top of your card like that. And it did that on my last card too. So all I did is cut some off the bottom of the pot. Still kind of peeking out a little bit. I'll just cut a little bit more off. Press down, and there you go. Cute little pot. And then I'll put my front pieces on. This is the front panel that I cut. Center this on the front. And I also use the glue on my plastic piece too and just put it around the edges. This Nouveau glue dries really clear. As you can see, the one that I did last night, I just glue it on there doing the same thing I'm doing now. And then I put a book on top of it to kind of press it down. I love how it turned out. Make sure that's straight. Then I'll get a book. I'll put a book on top of this one too to just kind of make sure it's level when it's drying and completely flat because you don't want it to buckle up. Then I'll just place these two flowers here on each side. Again, I'll leave the giveaway open for, oh no, what did I do? I used the flower that I already had a piece on. I'll leave this giveaway open for a month. Again, you do have to be a subscriber. Leave a comment on this video and I'll use the YouTube random picker to pick the winner if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can i'll be sure to link what i can down in the description box so be sure to check that out as well as be on the lookout for the winner of last month's project thank you all so much for watching stay safe and have a great day bye